Hello, my name's Cutsy, and I think I've found a fix for the terrible AI in FIFA 18 career mode. Important thing before we kick this video off, you need two controllers for this fix. If you haven't got two controllers, then I seriously suggest that you just buy a knockoff one, even though you might not use it at all, I think this fix is big enough to warrant that purchase. Now what am I talking about when I say terrible AI? Have you ever gone into a game where you feel like you are the underdogs and yet you breeze past the opposition like they're not even there? On the flip side, have you gone into a game against relegation fodder and you just realise that they are quite literally parking the bus and you can't break them down and all of a sudden it's a scrap to even get a goal? Suddenly that game is a lot more difficult than the one that should have been difficult. Yeah, that's the kind of terrible AI that I'm talking about. I've been trying to work around the issue bringing out sliders for FIFA 17 and FIFA 18. You might have seen some of the videos flowing about on YouTube, but this is actually the fix that we needed. And I hope someone at EA eventually gets this, hopefully you can share it on social media, because they need to know what's happening. Now I know some of you guys are very busy, so to cut to the chase, skip to about 8 minutes in this video and you will have the solution. But for everybody who wants to stay, and wants to understand exactly how screwed up this game is, then please, follow me down the rabbit hole. So here's how it all started off. Third season of my Lincoln City Youth Squad Legends series. We were in League 1, battling it out for the league title and we were very comfortable at one point we were smashing teams left right and center but these guys are very young they're developing quickly and about january february time we saw a difference between the first half of the season's ai and then what we were playing now way more compact very defensive hard to break down couldn't score enough especially with my three-man defense it was so difficult to grab three points we end up losing the league title heartbreaking after all this happened i proposed to do two slider setups one for the normal ai and one for when they are lower rated and more defensive against you so i sat down i think it was playing against coventry city i was adjusting the sliders and then it suddenly clicked these issues with the ai have been around since fifa 15 so what changed in the game from FIFA 14 to FIFA 15. Because in FIFA 14 it was fine. Big teams play like big teams, small teams play like small teams. The key feature, the big thing that they were presenting was the improvement in emotion. Which included apparently many things that I still can't see in the game to this day. But one of the talking points in the interview that I'm about to show you is the changes to the AI. Take it away. You know, the other area is the AI. We've done a lot of work there. Again, looking at the you know, power of now, what we have is we want to make the AI play in a more human-like way. We want the AI to feel like we're playing each other. Um, so now they're starting to act as if, you know, I mean, if, if I'm a goal up late, I'm probably going to be a little bit more defensive, not take as many risks. You're going to start to see the AI do that. You know, if, if, if I'm a goal behind, I'm going to go more direct. Yeah. Both systems look at the match importance uh, and, the con and both monitor the context within the game itself, yeah. knowing whether you're up, knowing whether you're down. So they're, they're different systems, but they're kind of working together because they come together based on context. That's the AI. I mean, that's exactly what we're talking about. So, you know, the couple of things that we named are in the park mixer the and, park, and yeah. park the bus. I mean, it's very relevant right now. Yeah. Um, but again, I think it's... It's making it feel more humanistic. It's giving you, okay, and it's actually very quiet. I don't know if it's happened to you yet, but they'll pass the, park the bus on you, and it's like, I need to change my tactics. Yeah, because I've got, to, you know. well, I'm, I'm now working against a different team. Yes. It's like not a different team, but they're playing in a different yeah. way, so I've got to change yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. And you can change your mentality. We want, you know, you start thinking about using that as well, is, you know, they get a bit more defensive on you. Okay, I need to go a bit more attacking. So if a team's gone one up and they're yeah. at 80th minute, they will start to just naturally pull, pair themselves back and maybe leave one striker up and just yeah exactly and it's all dependent also on the matchup depending on who's playing who like a, 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 a lower division team may do it earlier right um, it can happen at any time we don't we're not restricting it to the last 10 minutes so you might find that you know a, a team might go you know one up against the top top of the league team and they might start to go defensive a little earlier yeah, than that. Now that clip was from Foothead TV. They run the Ultimate Team website, the big Ultimate Team website. They've also got a YouTube channel. I didn't even know that, but I'll put the link down in the description. If you want to subscribe to it, go ahead. 
You know, that was a great interview all the way through. 15 minutes long. I think he says innovation about 1,267 times. But I cut the crap out. I just wanted to know what happened to the AI. All the stuff that he said, absolute rubbish. Now... I take pity on him, actually, because, like, he is just an EA puppet saying exactly what they want him to say. Especially when he emphasises that the team have put a lot of hard work into FIFA 15. Uh, cringe-worthy stuff. On this occasion, what he means by the team has done a lot of hard work is remarkable. This is not hard work. I think Football Manager do more than this in a day. Maybe even a couple of hours. So let's get to the tester footage. This is the month of April 2021. Three and a half star Lincoln City will be facing two and a half star Shrewsbury, three star Colchester, three star Sheffield United, and two and a half star Berry. So what makes a team like Shrewsbury more difficult than Colchester or Sheffield United? Well... They just put it on defensive. I don't know why it took me so long to realise. I thought with them dressing it up as a new feature, it might be a little bit more complex than just sticking it on defensive. That is what he's meaning by a lot of hard work. Yeah, I know. Sure enough, you go to the Colchester game and they are not on defensive. They are on balanced. Now, in real life football, if you are battling relegation and you come up against someone higher up in the league, maybe challenging for the league title, yes, you are going to go defensive. So the ideas behind what EA have tried to change, they're good, but they've been implemented so poorly because defensive mentalities are so overpowered or should we say balanced mentality ai is so bad this is where other youtubers get the wrong end of the stick and beg ea to bring ultimate difficulty to career mode i'm just gonna say it right now it ain't gonna change much because ai on that balanced strategy just doesn't work it leaves you with way too much space and you don't even need to take my word for it now i've been learning how to use cheat engine on the pc version of fifa 8 and the guy who does the tutorials has played Ultimate Difficulty on career mode because you can do that on PC with a cheat engine. And he can say for himself, it's not that much better than Legendary Difficulty. Match settings, and this is one I've played around with quite a lot. Um, the Ultimate Difficulty, I was using that for quite some time. Something to note with the Ultimate Difficulty is, um, I think to be honest, it's really meant, which is why you can't use it in game, it's meant for Ultimate Team because it's meant to be linked with chemistry. Otherwise, it's, it's not very difficult, I'll be honest. It's not very difficult at all. Um, but you can change a lot of things here, the half length and stuff. Once again, really goes without saying, support Undercover Nerd, doing great things. I'll put the link in the description to the video that I used. If I were you, I would definitely consider subscribing. So this is the solution. First controller on the team that you're managing, like always. Second controller on your opposition. Now here you can mess about with both sides, so that's a bonus. Before we kick off, we have to sort out the mentality of your opposition. What I would suggest for people that play on World Class or lower I would go and switch the mentality to balanced and keep it on balance for every single team the good thing is once you've changed it and then disconnected your second controller they will stay on that mentality we are not making the game harder for you we're just trying to make it more consistent so the good teams play like good teams and the bad teams play like bad if you're winning quite comfortably then maybe it's just time to step up in difficulty for people who find legendary a bit too easy well I can make it tougher by using the things that we know about lower rated teams going on defensive, we can put everybody on defensive. Click left on the D-pad, stick it on defensive, but I can do even more than that because if you press pause and then go into the team management of your opposition, then you can go to tactics. If you press high pressure, they'll give you a much tougher game. Pair that with a decent slider setup and you are going to have a very difficult time. So here's what I'm playing with right now. It's a very simplistic slider setup. This is user gameplay customization. We've got sprint speed at 50, acceleration at 50. Shot speed 53, pass error 55. Shot speed 50, pass speed 49. Injury frequency at 35, with injury severity at 40. Goalkeeper ability at 50, position marking 65. Run frequency 45, line height 55, line length 50, line width 50. 
fullback position in 50, power bar 50, and first touch control error 55. To the CPU, 50 at 50 on at sprint speed and acceleration, shot error goes down to 30, pass error to 40, shot speed 50, pass speed 50, injury frequency 35, injury severity 40, goalkeeper ability 60, marking 50, run frequency 50, line height 50, line length 50, line width 50, full back positioning 50, and first touch control error down to 45. Once I've played this new AI for a few weeks, then I'll get to know what the strength is and what the weaknesses are. Afterwards, I can change the sliders and hopefully it can become a more complete experience for you guys. But this video is not about sliders. Yes, it's going to make your life more difficult, but not as much as sticking the mentality on defensive. That really will make decent teams in your league feel way more decent. You could even mix it up a little bit. The guys fighting it out in the relegation spots, you can go to balance mentality so they're easier to break down. And then the top teams in your division, you can go to defensive and hopefully have a better clash than say for instance fighting against Barnsley in 23rd. Sorry Barnsley fans, I just had to pick a team. One last thing if you don't know, to take the second controller off you go to select sides and then you move it into the middle, press back and you are done. And that's it. I hope you like that. I'm not going to try and bash EA too much because I know what they tried to do. They tried to emulate real life. But the problem with that is that when you attack in real life, you have benefits. When you park the bus in real life, you've got benefits. Some of those benefits are not coming across in the game. So while park the bus is very effective on the game, going attacking isn't so because your defense is wide open for the counterattack. Counterattack is massive on this game. So what I suggest to you guys, whatever kind of difficulty level you're at, just stick the mentality on the same for every single game that you play. In theory, surely that will make the bigger teams feel better. And if not, then there's some other inner workings to the game that I don't know about and we probably won't be able to fix. But I think this has sorted it out to a point that I'm very confident in sharing this video with you guys. So, this has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it works out for you. Please leave your results down in the comments section. And I will see you next time. Actually, before I go, everybody who watches my series, Youth Squad Legends, thank you so much for being patient with me whilst I mess about with this AI fix. Normal service will be resumed and we start the fourth season very soon. Bye bye.